Okay, after it's done drying overnight, it needs to dry for 24 hours. Pull it out of the clamps. Put your clamps away where you got them. If you forgot to wipe off any excess glue, you're going to have to chisel that glue off. So you want to chisel all the glue off um, so it doesn't go in the planer. Chisel always goes away from you. And now you have your glued up board. Actually, before we plane it, we're going to make sure this edge is parallel to this edge. I want to make sure I leave all of these little tails on them. Parallel to the other edge. And really, I don't want to waste any wood here. I just want to make it take off as little wood as possible to make these two sides parallel. Okay. Guards in place. Now that these two edges are parallel, I'm not going to cross cut. I'm going to plane though. The way I plane is I measure the overall thickness of the board and I set that thickness on the gauge on the planer. Again, make sure you don't have any loose clothing on, anything you get caught in the planer. No fingers go in there. You never look in there when it's running. The vac and gate have to be open. Here's on off. I'll set this depth. This is a depth wheel. It's the only wheel you need to touch on the planer. On. And then that's a nice plain surface. I get a little bit of chatter like that. I might want to reverse it rather than feed it in this way. I could feed it in this way. Do you want to plane both the top and the back of it? And then you have a nice smooth board that's surfaced on one, two, three, four sides. Any questions up to that point? So here's my prepared board. Again, this side has been ripped to this side so they're parallel, but I don't cross cut. I grab a T square and I draw where I want my board to end. I'm going to draw in that line. Drawing that line on this side too. I'm going to be machining. This is going to be the top of my breadboard. Okay. And once I have those lines drawn, I'm going to take this edge right here and make sure it's parallel to the edge of the CNC router. And the best way to get a good fit on here is to make sure there's no dust on this tabletop. So you get a good bond with the tape. And then you're going to use a two-sided tape right here. You don't need much tape on here. It's just kind of hold it in place for the very last little cut. The screws are really what's going to hold it. A little bit of two-sided tape. I'm going to hold it down on here. I want this edge to be parallel to the edge of the router. Once I have it lined up where I want it, I'm going to push it down. And then I'm going to screw it down, and I'm going to, my screws are going to be outside of my lines. So again, it's really important that you use a pilot bit. Screw the board down. I think I'll put like maybe two or three screws in. Okay, and once my board's all screwed down, I need to bring the edge of the bit, not to the lower left corner of the board, but to the lower left corner where my pencil mark is. And when I draw it in master cam, I'm gonna draw this rectangle right here. The rectangle from one edge of the pencil to the other edge, 14 by 12 and 3 quarters. Any questions up to this point? Glue your wood together, wait till it dries overnight, plane it down, rip the two edges parallel, 
draw your cross cut lines, but don't cross cut. Screw it down to the CNC router, and then we'll CNC router it. Okay, be safe.